Hello, Kelly. Long time no see. Have you been doing all right? Are you getting around to finally finding yourself a boyfriend yet? I've been doing all right, thank you. But when it comes to a boyfriend, I'm still without one, all right. Really? So you're telling me you're still single then, huh? You're almost in your 40s now. So I'd say this is pretty much it for you then. Even your younger sister is married to someone now, so I'd have to say you're just a loser now? It's wild to think that you have the time to make fun of me like this, when you're newly wed to your husband now and should be busy with that. Excuse me? Unlike someone who's never worked a day in their life, I actually have been busy and don't have much time on my hands. I have to make sure to please my husband. I'm cleaning the house every day over here. And the only reason I'm talking with you today is because I have something important to tell you about. What kind of important stuff do you have to tell me? <laughs> actually, I happen to be pregnant now. I was able to get married at the perfect age of 24 and at 25, I'm already having my first baby. I think I'm living the perfect life right now and any woman would be jealous of, right? Unlike a total loser like you, Kelly, I'm winning at the game of life. Congrats, Jenny. That is a very wonderful thing to tell me about. Now you'll have even more things to brag to me about. Wow, you're even more excited about me than I thought you'd be. I was right to talk to you about this now instead of waiting until a closer date. Huh? What's wrong with me being happy about you getting pregnant? I think it's normal for everyone to be happy about your new baby. I'm sure that when you tell dad and mom about this, they'll be over the moon with excitement. But you're happy about all this for a different reason, right? You're happy to hear that you'll now have a new niece or nephew that you can have over any time to take care of you when you're old and senile, right? Um, what? Now listen, just because I'm having a baby and all that doesn't mean you get to see them and use them for your each and every desire, okay? I don't want you and your sad single woman life getting in the way of my family as you age. So stay away from us, okay? Um, hold on a second, Jenny. You actually think someone like me would have such selfish thoughts as that about you or your family? I would never have you and your kids or husband come to me when I get older and need assistance. I happen to have money saved up for that. So when the time comes, I can be put into a retirement home. I wonder if that'll really be the case. <laughs> You'll be lonely and sad. So you might go to extremes and get whoever you can to help you, right? You don't even have someone around you now promising to look after you when you're old. And I'm sure that that money you're talking about isn't even real. I'm telling you that if you don't start getting out and working more, you won't have the money to support yourself. And besides, when you get to that age, you should be asking your immediate family for help caring for you first. And I'm guessing you'll try to get me or my kids to take care of you then. I would never do that to you guys. I've been thinking about my later years for a while now and really do have the money saved for it. You seriously are gonna continue thinking I'd believe that? I know for a fact you wanna use my kids to look after you when you can't care for yourself anymore. But that's too bad for you, Kelly. I will never have my kids meeting you, ever, ever. And I for sure won't let them go out and care for you at all. So you can forget being happy about me having a baby soon because they are never going to meet you. Never? You're saying I can't meet any of your kids in the future because I'm still single? I feel that you're gonna try and spoil my kids in order to get them to help you when you're old and helpless, right? In the future, you'll tell me that you took such great care of them and that's why you need their help or something like that. And then you'll force them to have to go to your bedside and hear you out. What the heck have you been going on about, Jenny? I was actually pretty excited to hear about you having your first baby, but now that excitement has passed. If you really wanna be around my family in the near future, then hurry up and find yourself a husband, all right? Right now, you are far too old to still be living with mom and dad. And by this point, I'm pretty sure both mom and dad are tired of your crap there. Hey, hey, Kelly, did you hear the news? Your little sister is pregnant. Well, if that's what you just heard, I was told that by her an hour ago, but she ruined the mood for me really quickly. I was so excited to hear that she was going to have a baby. But that soon stopped after what she had to say. What? What the hell happened between you two both? Even though she'll be having her baby, she said that a single woman like me will never get a chance to meet them. She thinks that I'll start to spoil them or something. All for the goal of getting them to care for me in my later years or something. And so she's never going to let her see a single woman as selfish as me. That's what she was going on about. What? You're telling me that Jenny said those horrible things to you? I knew that she'd be back eventually and still make fun of me. 
She thinks that she's winning the game of life because she got married young and is having her first baby only a year later. And compared to her, I'm some kind of lost cause loser that still has to live with you and dad still. Kelly, I'm so sorry about all that. The fact that Jenny turned out like this has to be because of your dad and I. That's right. Both dad and you always love to be more caring for her and never bothered to show me that same affection. You guys never even acted like you cared about me and everything had to be about Jenny. And that's the reason why now, even she feels as though it's okay to make fun of me and call me a loser. That's not it at all, Kelly. It wasn't that your dad and I didn't care about you, but well, we were finally able to have another child and she was our second daughter. And when she was really young, she'd always get sick. So we had to give her a lot more time than you. So because of that, it seemed as though we really spoiled her, which we kind of did. But of course, all of that is about excuses, right? I'm so sorry about everything, Kelly. At the time, I was a bit worried about what would happen to me, but I've managed on my own so that you don't have to be sorry anymore. But since you guys were the ones to make her this way, I'd like both dad and you to be the ones to handle her now. Make sure to celebrate her first baby for me, okay? Well, about her and that baby, right now, I'm not really wanting to celebrate the fact that she's pregnant now. What? You don't want to celebrate your number one daughter being pregnant? What's gotten into you all of a sudden? This all didn't start to happen overnight, okay? It's been ever since the day she got married that I started to think differently of her. A lot of things happened between us, and ever since her wedding, I haven't spoken much with her. Is that right? I always thought you kind of slowed down with all the affection you'd been giving her after she married. What happened between the two of you that I'm not aware of? Well, that's the thing. I have to tell you about it later. Just know that because of things, your dad and I aren't really too excited about her either. We'll celebrate her pregnancy a little bit, but besides that, we have no plans on doing anything with her. I see. Well, she's got her own family now anyway, so that's probably the best option. I wouldn't want things to get worse around us because of her, so it's best to keep creating some distance one step at a time. Let's just be quiet when things come to her and hope that she has a safe pregnancy and childbirth. I want you out of this house right now, Kelly. Starting today, I'm gonna be living here with mom and dad. Huh? Jenny? I've been told it's your fault that I'm not able to come back to mom and dad's house to have my baby, and it pisses me off big time. I'm not letting a woman in her 40s get in the way of me being able to stay with them any longer. I've already taken all your things and thrown them outside for you. Grab all those things soon and get lost. Can you slow down for two seconds? What do you mean? You wanna come back and have your baby at mom and dad's house? And also, why do I have to leave their house in order for you to do that? All women go back to their hometown when having their baby, right? So I was thinking I'd go back home to their house and have my baby. However, both mom and dad have told me not to come back to their house. They told me I no longer have a room there and that I should just give up. Really? You're telling me that dad and mom both told you no to come back to the house to have your baby? Yes. And when I tried to ask them why I didn't have a room there anymore, they didn't give me a single answer. That's why I decided I'm going to have to force my way back in. If I've come all this way to their house, they'll have no other choice but to let me stay, right? What? And when I came into the house, I saw something that I want an explanation for right now. It looks like you had all your things in my room and took it from me. Well, you got married and no longer live in the house with us anymore, right? And when it comes to my job, the company said it was okay for me to start working remotely. Since that's something I've been looking forward to for a long time, I decided to use your room and turn it into my office. And that's the reason why mom was telling me I had no room here, and she said no to me coming home, right? The obvious reason is that you've taken my room. So this is all your fault. I bet both mom and dad have been wanting their cute daughter back home as soon as possible. What? I want you out of here immediately. I have a very big baby in my belly right now, and I don't want to stress anymore about you being around me. I am back to have my baby here, and in order to do this safely, I need you gone. The fact that you just barged into a house you were told not to come back to, and then asked me to leave right away is pretty bold and terrible of you. I get it. I'll hand my office and everything back over to you while you're home. Then you won't have anything else to complain about, right? I'll give you back your old room. But I'm going to stay in the house as well. Huh? That's only gonna make me complain more. I have my husband here with me as well. 
And you expect the two of us to share one small room together this whole time? What? You brought your husband along with you? Um, Jenny, you're telling me that you brought your husband, Ricky, back home to mom and dad's with you? That's right. Without me around, Ricky would have a very hard time. He told me that he'd get so lonely back home and wanted me to bring him along for the time I'm here. And that's why he's here with me. That right there is a totally different situation for everyone then. Why did you even come back to mom and dad's if you plan to bring him with you? Well, he happens to be very busy with work. So while he's gone during the daytime, who would take care of me? And when it comes to Ricky, he sucks at doing the chores. So that's why we've both come back to mom and dad's place. That way, we both can be cared for by mom and dad for the next month or two while we lay back and relax. You and your husband. You both better not be under the assumption that you could make dad and mom your housemaids. Well, to me, both mom and dad are like my housemaids. So I'm going to use them as such. Ever since I was a little baby, they'd always spoil me and do literally anything I asked them. Those two love taking care of me, so I'll let them do it again for another few months. Are you sure? But the fact that I just came back home and my room was taken over by you is unacceptable. So I want you to go home and grab all your things and leave. Asking me to do all of that right away is difficult for me. If you want something like that to happen, you need to talk to me weeks in advance so I can prepare. Shut the hell up, you single middle-aged loser. This is not even your house. So tell me why I have to talk to you about anything before I do it here. Did you just call me a single middle-aged loser? I sure did. All you are is a shut-in old freak. You are way too old now to not have yourself a husband. And now you want to live at mom and dad's for the rest of your life, leeching off of them? You're what the world likes to call a freeloading loser. Hold up. I'm working a full-time job right now, so I'm not some shut-in. I also happen to pay for my right to still live in this house. So stop calling me a freeloader. Hey, Kelly. Normally, people your age have started to live on their own and no longer need their mommy and daddy's help anymore. They end up getting married by your age and are out of the house in a place of their own. But since you haven't done any of that, you've stuck around and leached off both mom and dad. <laughs> it doesn't matter if you're working or not. You have not started to live on your own yet, and that makes you a shut-in and a loser. You're an embarrassment to this family, and a single, no-good, middle-aged loser. Excuse me? The fact that you are still sitting in this house with both mom and dad means you have caused them more than enough problems. A freeloading shut-in like you, you need to go. Both mom and dad want me home with them so they can care for all my needs. There is no home for you anymore here. Huh? I'm asking you to please leave my house. Both myself and your dad do not even want to see your face anymore. You have the balls to force your way into my home after we told you no? Why are you such an awful daughter? Wait, wait a second, wait. Is this you or mom? It is me. Today, Kelly happens to have the day off work. So the three of us have been taking the day to go out and have some food and relax. And to think, while we've been out enjoying ourselves, you and your husband would break and enter into our home? Break and enter? Why are you calling it that? Your cute daughter and her husband are both giving you the gift of having me home again. You want me to be home with you both in order to have my baby here, right? You had to cry and tell me no because of Kelly, right? To us, you are no longer our cute daughter. You have already gone and burned through a lot of your own parents' savings without ever telling us. Your dad and I actually hate you a lot now. Just because we told you no does not give you the right to start blaming Kelly for it. Huh? Why are you so surprised about this? You and that man of yours both went ahead and started to use up your dad's and my savings, right? I thought you would have been happy to see the two of us give you that wonderful wedding. But then after that, I saw you going through our account, pulling money from it. After your wedding, both your dad and I went to the bank and took a good look through everything to see you and your husband using it all up. I guess I can see why you're shocked by all this. Because not once did you ever tell your dad and I anything about how you used up our savings. Huh? Wait a moment, Mom. I, I went ahead and apologized to you for all of that. You apologize? Was your apology that crappy little $10 present you got for us when you went on both of your honeymoons? And along with it, there was this note that said sorry and then LOL on it. You thought that crap was a good enough apology for what you did? 
Uh, um... Ever since you were a little baby, your dad and I have loved you and cared for you so much. And because you were always our favorite child, we wanted to give you a good wedding. We went ahead and gave you $30,000 to help you out with paying for it and everything. But that wasn't enough for both of us. Because both you and your husband went ahead and started to take more of our money without asking. Well, no matter how you think of it, at the time we needed more money for things. I wanted to give you both the best wedding I could because I love you guys a lot. And that's why I went ahead and spent a little more. My husband and I didn't have a lot of money, right? And with that 30000 you gave us, I couldn't make the wedding the best it could be. And that's why I went ahead and took a little more from you. You think you only took a little from me? You went and took another $80,000 from the two of us. But both you and dad said it yourselves. You said you were both looking forward to your cute daughter's wedding. So I wanted to give a very high-end, shiny wedding for everyone. And that's why I started to spend your money without really checking how much things were to make it beautiful. That was my way of being a good daughter to you both. I have had enough of your freaking crap. You no good, stupid little waste of our time. When both your dad and I took a look at how much you took from us, our eyes opened wide up. We happened to spoil you way too much. And because of that, we created the most ungrateful brat on this planet. What do you mean ungrateful? You both were the ones that showed me so much of your love, right? Why are you giving me the cold shoulder now? From now on, your dad and I are going to make things right. I want you to forget about your weak parents from before and start to take a good look at your new strict parents. It might already be too late for us, but we are going to go back to basics with you and try to raise you properly. B but Listen to you. Why did you bring along your husband if he can't even do any chores in this house? Are you trying to tell me that he doesn't know how to live on his own? I like that you made fun of Kelly for that, when the man you married can't even be left alone. B but mom, in exchange for that, he works really hard at his job. Well, then, for us to allow you to stay at our place, we'd like you guys to pay $2,000 a month. You should be able to do that, right? He works so hard at his job after all. Your dad and I will do the chores for you guys and take great care of you both. As long as we get a cut of that hard earned money, you can do that for us, right? You want $2,000? We have no way of paying you both that much. But your sister is able to do it in order to live here. And she doesn't even need me to do her chores. That's the reason we're letting her live with us. You're telling me Kelly is able to pay that kind of money to stay with you guys? She's actually really busy with her job all the time. But she still has the ability to do her own chores and cook for herself. However, I've been more than happy to help her out since she has a lot of work on her plate already. So, in return for me doing some chores and a little bit of cooking for her, she now pays $2,000 a month to us. So, if you really both want to be living back in our house for the next few months that badly, then you can pay the same amount she is. But that's... I... Did you know that back when you had your wedding and got married, Kelly left our house? She was gone for only a month when we asked her to come back and help us because you had used up all our money. She told us she was fine with that because she was worried about the two of us. For a few months, she even paid us double what she pays now to try and get us some more money into our savings again. What? Throughout all her past, she had to watch as Dad and I only ever loved you. She had no need to care about us and could have said no with every right to do so. We did things to her that any person would hate us for. But your sister happens to have a heart and didn't want us to suffer because of you. She came to our pleas and made sure we were going to be okay. Hearing you want to kick someone like her out of the house like that is something I'm not going to allow. Then what are we supposed to do? The both of us came all the way out here to live with you guys while I have my baby. Are you seriously going to make us do a 180 and go back home now? Dang right I am. Go home right now. The both of you. If you both want to come live with us again, then hand your dad and I that $80,000 you stole from us. Until you've done that, you are never allowed in our house again. Are you kidding me? We are on our way home now. So you have until we pull into that driveway to leave. If you don't, we are calling the police and telling them you broke and entered our home and need to be taken away. Hey Kelly, 
I haven't been able to talk to either mom and dad for the past six months. I told them that I had my baby and everything, thinking I'd get a response, but they didn't even say congrats or anything. Even if they haven't spoken to you, they are happy to hear about the baby. They both said they're relieved to see that the baby was healthy. Huh? Then why did neither of them say anything to me? If they're happy about my baby, why aren't they gonna come over to my house and bring me presents? I was able to give birth to their cute little grandbaby. Huh? You want presents for having a baby now? I do. It's normal to send someone gifts after they brought another member into this family, right? They gave me $30,000 for my wedding a year and a half ago. So for a cute little grandbaby, they should give me at least $50,000, right? Not anymore. You're not getting a penny from those two ever again, actually. Did you forget that you and your crappy husband both used dad and mom's savings without asking? Dad told me that a portion of that can be considered your gift then for the baby. What? But that's not good enough for me. Without any kind of money from them, how are we going to raise this baby? Wait, what? Aren't you both supposed to raise and care for the baby? You have the income from Ricky, right? When it comes to his income, he's only making about $1,500 a month, actually. There's no way we can raise a kid with that kind of money. Ricky is only making that much? He's allowed you to be a housewife and everything with that kind of income? I assumed because of that, he was making at least three times that amount. We're only 25 years old right now. We have no way of making that kind of money at our age. Also, Ricky has a habit of changing jobs a lot, so he never is able to get any sort of raise. Is that so? That's why we've been hoping for some money from mom and dad. We really do feel sorry for using up some of their savings during our wedding, but come on now. It's not like mom and dad haven't forgiven me already for that, right? And I thought that by having a grandbaby for them, I'd be able to get back on their good side again. To hear that they won't give me any money... <laughs> My god, Jenny! Was this the whole reason you planned on having a child in the first place? But in the past, mom and dad always spoiled me with everything I wanted, right? They loved caring for me all the time. And I thought they'd want to spoil me forever. And I thought they also meant that they'd want to spoil both my baby and my husband as well. Seriously? But to hear that they won't give me any money this time is not going to go over well with us. Please go tell mom and dad that I went to apologize again for using their savings. I, I tried to apologize already over text, but they never replied to me. So please help be the middleman here for us. Well, if you want, I can tell them, since they're sitting right next to me. They're saying that you're in debt to them for $80,000, and they'll never forgive you until it's all paid back to them. What? You really thought that you could get mom and dad to start spoiling you again by having that baby? I'm sorry, but both dad and mom no longer care about you and would rather you learn to take care of yourself now. But, but, but ever since I was a baby, they left me with so much. And they always told me I was so cute and everything to them. I wanted them to never get mad at me about anything, no matter what. Well, it's time for you to become aware that your parents have changed now and are no longer going to let you take advantage of them like that. Now, I've had enough of this. I have to go on a business trip today. Well, wait a second. Then at the very least, can you give us a gift? You have a cute little niece now. I'll even let you see her soon. As long as you give me some money as a gift. You are already putting in $2,000 a month to live with mom and dad. So you can afford to give us $20,000, right? What are you going on about now? You already told me that I'm never allowed to see your kids, right? And since I can't see them ever, why should I give you any gift? Huh? Now you and your husband get a grip and learn how to raise your daughter. Jenny and her husband didn't even end up getting any gifts from their friends in the end for their new baby. Apparently, because of that really amazing wedding she gave everyone, she expected them all to give her lots of presents and money for it. They followed through with it, but because of that, a lot of them cut ties to Jenny without ever telling her. So she didn't even know her friends all left her a year or so ago. Also, since she was a housewife before the baby, she had to quit that job and start looking for a job to make her baby more money. While Jenny was doing all that, my parents thought they'd take one trip over to her place to check on how things were going. But when they arrived, she started crying for them to give her money. But instead of just leaving her there to struggle with her useless husband and newborn, they chose to stick closer to them and make sure that at least the baby was taken care of. And my parents were only doing this because they felt responsible for raising their granddaughter's mother to become a spoiled monster and didn't want the baby exposed to that.